Go up in a truck. Go up in a truck, boy. Stop it talking. When I get too out of it now. It's a better shot that way. Yo, in the level with the background noise, please. Your phone has to go clear. Get a zoom on that. I'm getting a zoom. Yeah. This is a fun. This can't hold all of them. No mask. Remember to keep that on your face. I'll come into you, you and you next. See where you on oxygen? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Put it on. You next. You. I'll come into health. Come into health. Mm. Yes, sir. To those who say... Um, if you have a problem with the rules, go the formal route and take it to the relevant authorities. What you're actually saying to the majority of people in the country, what you're saying to the masses is go and take the channel that was created to lose you, to mute you, where your descent was designed to die. That's what you're actually saying. Um, that somebody should go into the system created by those we're disagreeing with um, and full of red tape uh, to voice concerns about them. That's what you're actually saying. That doesn't work. And for those who say, then what's the solution? Since you, 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 you say this is a problem, since you're talking about the problem, um, don't talk about the problem unless you have a solution. To you, I say, fuck off. Now, my, the conditions on which my citizenship are predicated does not include coming up with solutions to jobs held by officials we put in power and pay to do that job. It is not my responsibility to do the job. I don't have to come up with a solution. I don't have to go and do the job to say this job is not being well done. That's like you saying to me that this is like I employ a painter. And I show them where I want painted. And I see that they're doing a sloppy job of it. And I show them a whole section. They say they're almost done. And I see a whole section where they miss. And me point and say, you missed a, quite a big spot. And the paint, painter say, shut the fuck up. Is either you're going to come paint or shut the fuck up. And I say work. And I say work. I do not have to come up with an, a, a solution. To be able to say this is a problem or to be able to say this measure does not work. It doesn't work and it doesn't appear to work from where I stand. I don't have to apply for permission to say that. And if you suggest that I do, your act, what you're actually doing is saying I don't have full rights as a citizen. And why don't I? Why, why am I not allowed to say this no work? Why am I not allowed? You want me to tell us something more strange? When PJ Pattinson was Prime Minister of this country and I was a public supporter of the Jamaica Labour Party, I was, when I say public support, I don't mean on social media, I mean in my personal life. Like, go around with them on campaign and them sitting there, go up on stage, go sing for them and introduce people and them something there. Yeah, me, me depend on Labour right stage from me, a little bit me. And when PJ Pat Pattinson was Prime Minister, I did a song called The Other Cheek. And I was talking directly to him. I didn't call his name because there's no point immortalizing him specifically when it can be applied to so many people who occupy that position. And I was talking to him. I made my position clear. And the response from the PNP was very different than the responses I'm seeing from the JLP now. In my entire life, I've 
only voted for the JLP. I've never voted for anybody else. There have been times when I didn't vote, but every time I voted, it was for the JLP. I brought lunch to workers. I've given whatever little cash I could give to campaigns. And I'm finding it incredibly distasteful. I don't want nothing from them. I've never asked for a contract. I've never asked. In fact, the only time I've ever asked a politician to do a favor was actually a PNP politician. I don't, I don't typically ask politicians favors because I think it clothes their ability to do their jobs. So I don't do that. I don't want favors from anybody. I don't want to be friends. I, I don't need to be friends. But you see, when I spoke about how the people on the ground felt about PJ Patterson's leadership. Members of the PNP actually had a better response. And the followers of the PNP on the street said that too. The P Everybody who felt what I was singing about said, boy, I'm not lie, still no me a PNP, but a true. Now what I'm finding happening with the JLP, I'm not going to lie to you now, the JLP nauseate the fuck out of me. Because they're not open to criticism at all. It's a zero tolerance policy for Criticism? Criticism? No, my man, the man of artists, you know, the man of celebrity, the man of actor, the man of... The, what do you think them are? They are public servant. They serve the public. They are employed by the public to serve the public's interest. And when the public say, me not comfortable with this, there's not even an explanation. There's just, there's just fucking rudeness and arrogance and disgusting behavior. And the biggest, the biggest feedback I get from supporters of the JLP is asking me this dumb ass, stupid as fuck question. All right, since you have a problem with it, what is your solution? My solution is you figure suck yourself. If you think I need to do that job to be able to say that job is not being done well, go suck yourself. Now, you can clip this and cut this and put whoever name you want and tell like I'm saying, tell them to go suck themselves. But if they feel the same way, them to suck themselves too. When you, when you muzzle and muzzle and muzzle and then complain about freedom of speech being lost. But you think freedom of speech is something where you can just take it from one person and it did this, so? You feel you feel stop somebody from speaking, you have to stop freedom of speech from, from existing altogether. So do you really want to do that? Do you want to get to the point where only people who agree with you are allowed to speak? And who is the you? Because you know all are varying opinions upon various things. So if you not allow speech upon this, and him not allow speech upon that, and she not allow speech upon that, and them not, pretty soon nobody can speak. Right now, may I say, curfew don't work. And may I say, them new measures they will put in place, even stupider than the last set of curfew them. Because if it ain't manage with this, the longer short hours, you think it'll manage better now? Businesses have to go luck Saturday, because 10 to 12 is not enough business hours for sustain opening for the day. You know what I think? What the fuck is wrong? We don't know. Why don't you kill your brain? And somebody come with that. It means the whole weekend lockdown. And because you have the privilege of food at your yard, you can't see how this is problematic for somebody who hustle Friday and Saturday alone for sustaining them the whole week. Somebody who lives off the weekend. How them are going to sustain? You can't bother. You know, say I just care and not care about each other. Because if you know they care about each other, you know nothing is bright. If you think, you know that actually think, you know don't care, fuck you know.